evening everyone and uh, welcome back to the bike shed uh, i've had a a bit of a, a revisit to my to my youth to my childhood really um and it was something that i've been i was harking for back in back in the day when i was a teenager and uh back in the day when the bmx craze was sweeping the united kingdom so um always wanted um, a rally burner, I always wanted the mongoose, always wanted um, you know a, a PK Ripper and, and all those kinds of, of, of bikes. Um, I ended up with a Peugeot BMX which I absolutely loved and uh, it was a red one with yellow tyres. Um, I'm, trying, I'm actually trying to find another one to re recreate it but it's uh, proving to be pretty tough to find one. I'm not actually 100% sure what which frame it was. But anyway, I digress. One of the bikes I really, really wanted was a, uh, a Mongoose with red pads, tyres, and uh, the anodised red bits on it. Um, sweeping through the internet a few weeks ago, um, before Christmas actually, I discovered that... Um, that the Mongoose uh, California Special um, has been uh, re-released, um, a re-pop as they call it. So I went ahead and uh, pulled the trigger and I bought one. So today it's been delivered. I bought it from a company which seemingly were based in the UK called um, Bikester. I ordered it on the 22nd of January and it's arrived today. It, it's, it was just ridiculously slow getting here. I've ordered stuff from the States before and it's been far, far quicker getting here. Whether it's down to Brexit or not, I'm not sure, but it was really, really slow. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and take it out of the box. I've already opened the top of the box to just have a quick look. I couldn't resist. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get you on a on a stand here, and we're going to do a little bit of a uh, of a reveal. So I'll uh, see you in a bit. Right, welcome back. And now is right, I need to reveal the bike. So uh, reliving my youth. So there's there's a group. Um, there's a Facebook group uh, group um, here called uh, North Wales um, North Wales BMX. Metro BMX, and uh, basically um, every every summer they 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 meet up and they have local they go on local uh, local jaunts around the uh, North Wales coast. I've been meaning to buy uh, uh, a Metro BMX for a good few years. I used to dabble quite a lot at one point. Um, in actual fact, I used to I used to enter them for competitions and stuff and then uh, back in 2007 when I had my last kind of year of, of messing around with them before I went back to the rally cars um, basically uh, I got uh, I got third place in bike of the year competition on uh, rallyverner.com website I built a, uh, a, a rally rampa um, R10 Double gusset, double R gusset frame, everything. It was, it was a really, really nice bike. It was very race orientated, had number plate on there, and uh, uh, one single brake for the rear. And uh, yeah, it was just a, a really nice bike. I spent a good few quid on it, and I sold it um, prior to, to getting the, the 205 XS. So, um, so yeah, right, let's get uh, packing. So, uh, first observation really with with the kit the, the, the pack everything's really really well well packaged um, the pad is floating around on its own in there no damage to anything it all looks pretty decent so that's uh, that's, that's good for that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lift it out so on first on the first look I'm just gonna take the bag away off the seat it's got a Kashimax style seat in there. Obviously not a Kashimax. It'd be worth an absolute fortune nowadays. And uh, oh, hold on. Stem pad. It's got a stem pad floating around in there. 
nearly thin compared to what I remember them, but uh, there you go. Right, so, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull it out. Right then, so let's have a look at the bike. Let's move this box out of the way. There we go. Right then, so uh, can you see that properly there? Let me just have a look. Okay, so let's just take this bag away. Pretty good. So let me just release you. Pardon the wobbly camera. So excellent. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually. I'll see. You. I'm going to put it on the bike stand, build right, stand. Welcome back. Uh, so I have the uh, BMX on the, uh, the bike build slash repair stand, and uh, just having a look around. The tubing, the paint, um, and it uh, generally looks pretty good actually. So, uh, take that cap away. Have a look. Yeah, no scratches. So, the way I'm going to need though is uh, a chain tensioner here, a lad to that. Um, I've already got. Um, a really, really nice little list actually of stuff that we can uh, fit to this um, as we go along to modify it. Um, one of the things I've, I've noticed is that the, the, the tyres are really, the rear tyre used to be skinnier than the front one. Um, but uh, the rear one is on this one is the same size as, uh, as the front one so it's uh, 20 by 2.125 so it's a bit too a bit too wide I think so it should be narrower uh, to, to look right um, so yeah it's looking pretty good um, at the minute I'm just going to uh, going to put you on a stand here pardon the wobbly camera actually let's get it down here pardon the wibbly wobbly camera let's uh, check that's looking for you. Yeah, right. I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to get the cardboard off, put it back, and just check the paint work and stuff. Um, let's see how it's looking. Attention. These are out right. Assemble the right pedal on the right side, of course. That's for those of you old school, in my my kind of age category and older, will remember that uh, you've got a right and left hand thread on the uh, the cranks of these bad boys. So that's just a reminder to make sure that you're putting the right pedal on. Right, there we go. This one protected. This MX brake lever there. Really well protected actually. I'm quite impressed with the packaging so far. So let's have a look at the other one. Yeah, that's pretty good actually as well. So uh, the frame looks, uh, looks pretty good. 
All this scratching and denting and stuff in there. So we'll, uh, we'll peel off this side. Fork. Nothing looks pretty good. Yeah, stickers are well fitted. It's reflect on here and pre reflect for there. And they're coming off. I'm not going to do that. The chain guard is also going to come off. Um, as we used to do back in, in the day. Bit of adjustment required there already. So, the, ears are, the ears are rolling back as I, as I speak. I uh, can't remember how long it goes, it was since I did this. So uh, let's uh, get this car put off. Stem. Yeah, nothing to write home about the stem wise, it's there and it's serve its purpose. And uh, of course, um, <laughs> the plan is to uh, to modify this. I won't be using it on any uh, any group activity um, until kind of. Uh, June, so it's going to be a while. I've got a, a lot of other things that uh, I've uh, committed to, so we'll have to do those first in terms of uh, main, mainly it's uh, that's disappointing that's, that the handlebar's been clamped uh, in the wrong place and it's and it's scratched, so yeah, uh, not happy, not happy with that, but uh, yeah. That's uh, that's uh, that's crap, to be honest. But there you go. Right. So let's. Uh, oops. Yeah, disappointed by that. Want to get some silver paint or something? I can't really, really cannot be asked sending it back. It took absolute ages. To get to me, um, I ordered it on the 27th, uh, 27th, 22nd of January, and it, it, it arrived today. They tried delivering it last Friday, uh, couldn't get the right uh, instructions to the courier, and uh, yeah, yeah, not, not very happy. Well, there you go, right? So, let's give it a, a tweak. Okay, right, so. Down tube is looking uh, pretty tidy. Then I'm just gonna have a, a scan on the other side. Yeah, that's looking good. Stickers are well, well fitted. And again, we've got the uh, the left hand side, the left hand uh, thread stickers uh, for that crank arm. So, let's take this one off. There's a tire up on this side, so. Chain stay, uh, chain stay, uh, rear seat stays because it's everything's looking there, uh, it's looking tidy. So, drop outs, rear drop out, looking good. Yeah, again, I'll need a uh, chain tensioner, a couple of chain tensioners. So, drop outs good on this side, folks, but pretty good. So, yeah, other than the disappointment of the handlebars, as you can see, um, no, uh, no major, no major issues really. 
So, right, I'm going to slack it off the, the stem bolt, get the steering wheel straightened out. Uh, right then, 14 mil they used to be. I'm still wondering the right one. No, 13 mil. It's, uh... There we go, right. Let me turn up to it. Right. is bringing back absolute fucking loads of uh, well, memories. So I'm going to have to sort that handlebar and the handlebars out there a bit too uh, too near in. Let's, uh, let's go in and do some knees. Should be enough. I was never one of those that had the uh, the handlebars leaning forward so you, anyway, if you took a jump and landed with both hands on the handlebar, you break your teeth on the stem, you know, with, uh, with it being so far uh, ahead, it always looked ridiculous, and, and I've seen quite a lot of bikes for sale recently with them way, way forward, and it just looks so stupid. Um, how the hell people can ride with them like that, I don't know. You know it's just ridiculous, you know, it, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. But that's just my opinion, and each to their own. So, uh, let's get sticky in there, so just double check this, yeah, yeah. there we go, right, I think it's, it's near enough for now, I think, so, uh, right, next stop, the brake levers, let's, uh, let's get those in a more usable position. Okay, so yeah, I need a smaller spanner for that. 8mm, I think was the suspect back in the day. And the same is today. So, there we go. Uh, right, so the right hand, uh, right hand lever brake works. The, the rear brake that just won't do because uh, <laughs> that's no good. So I'm gonna have to swap those over. Easy peasy job to do. But uh, we'll get them, get these levers in position first. So. Right, I'm happy with that. Headset's a little bit lumpy on this, to be honest. But anyway, that's alright. So, yeah, so at some point I will, I will change. Handlebar pad is the wrong way. Let's get this fitted in the right place and carry on looking at uh, what we've got. So, so yeah, other than the scratches on there, it's 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 in it's perfect perfect condition. So it's uh, not too bad. So yeah, I'm gonna have to swap these at some point. But uh, we'll crack on for the video this evening. So. Reflector on here, you know, likey. So let's uh, excuse me. Oh, too big. It's a five mil. Super clump. 
yeah, low enough grease as it should be. Let's uh, take this off. You will be seen dead with anything like this uh, back in the day. And of course, if you went out in the dark without anything like that, you probably would be. But uh, but yeah, no, everything's uh, everything's well greased in there. That's for sure. So. I'll uh, put this back on for a minute. So let's uh, see if I can move it. It's not quite square yet. Okay, right. It's gone in there. That's about there. A lot of this stuff will uh, we'll fine tune it at a later date. It's already looking a lot better. So this will just clean the grease away from the seat tube, seat post. Yeah. Right, let's get the. Uh, the uh, side cutters and uh, cut this cable tie. Now, to be honest, these cranks look really, really, really cheap. The headset is also um, pretty ropey, to be honest with you. It's just not smooth at all. So, but if I'm being completely honest with you, the plan is I'm going to replace a headset, seat post, uh, ten, tange, um, anodized red, um, a red seat clamp. We'll do something with the cranks. Um, I'm not keen on those. They're going to have to go. I mean, it's a bit disappointing, really, that we haven't got uh, a red anodized red chain ring. But you can't, uh, you can't have everything. But, uh, but yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty tidy. And apart, other than the, the, the damage to the handlebars, it is it's pretty, um, it's pretty tidy actually. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. So what we're going to do is. Uh, it is, it, it got a box with it. There's bits in here, so I'm expecting to see the pedals in there. I'll tell you what. Let's put the uh, let's put the pad set on it. Let's put the stem pad and the uh, top tube pads on. Just for effect, for a minute. It's been such a long time since I've uh, I've done this on any bike, so. Stem pad on, and of course I can't put this on because it's uh, on the stand. So, yeah, happy days with that. So, uh, not looking too bad, is it? So, of course, the uh, they're advertising the advertise the wheels. Um, a lot of you, the keen-eyed of you here, will will. We'll recognise the wheels as the, the Mongoose Pro Class wheels. Um, probably nowhere near the class of the original ones. But they're on there for now. Um, and it's a good place to start. Because as like in the old days, the plan is just to modify it. Because I've got quite a few bits in mind. I would like to have done... Uh, fitted even to make it uh, what I wanted when I was uh, when I was younger. So so yeah yeah really quite really quite chuffed with that. There's a Kashima style, Kashimak style seat which is really gonna hurt, but uh, we'll deal with that when the when the time comes. So MX I think they're the Tech Four levers on this. Really good, good feeling, nice and smooth on the calipers. 
this color this reflector i'll be taking this away i'll be putting a number plate on there um i'll be changing the cranks but uh really really love the mongoose and of course you've noticed that it's a silver satin silver finish on this it's not the chrome uh, like the original the original bike used to be um but uh it, it doesn't matter um there's a real really high chance that i'm going to be uh changing the color of the frame but that's not going to be until another time another time so it's uh we're going to enjoy it this this summer so yeah, you might have mentioned the, the tyres were really chunky on the back. Um, they should be chunkier on the front than the back. But they're uh, they're basically uh, the snake belly uh, copies. Not quite sure what the make is on these. Um, I don't think, in fact, I don't think there's a make on them at all. I don't, I can't see. Let's get into the light properly here. Uh, w, WD. Um... WD so yeah the WD whatever they are they're not uh, they're not the original uh, snake bellies obviously so all the spokes seem in decent tension not too bad at all so uh, yeah, it's a it's a shame about the damaged paint on there. Like I say, um, I'll, I'll I'll paint it up at some point. I'm thinking, um, but another plate will be across the front end here. That's out soon anyway. Um, you can't really see a great deal of damage as such. On the rear end, um, and let's be honest, the only person really I'll be looking down there will, will be me. So it's not too bad. So I'm gonna get this stick, move that sticker. Um, I'm going to take the uh, the Made in China one away. But the welds generally, they're not looking too bad. I was really worried about, about the welds um, on the frame. But uh, they don't look they don't look too bad. Uh, underneath, looking pretty decent. But uh, yeah. A really good basis for, uh, for the project. So um, yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the unboxing uh, part of the bike so let's have a look and see what we've got in this box of bits right bike user manual let's take some space on the bench so the bike manual that the mongoose manual let's have a look let's put you down there excuse the wibbly wobbly camera let's have a look and see what's in this so user's manual user manual and warranty Seemingly all about mountain bikes. Let's have a look. See, is there a BMX in there? Don't think so. Yeah, there's a BMX in there. But uh, so yeah, there's the, the two bits. Um, there's a bell. Ding dong. And that's uh, obviously going to get fitted. Not. There you go. There's the pedals. I can't quite remember which uh, type of pedal that these resemble um, from back in the day, because it's been a few years since I last. These the they're pretty shit, to be fair. That's really noisy. <laughs> Well, they're going to have to go at some point. I'm not going to be riding around in that. And of course, you've got your right hand, left hand threaded pedals here. 
but we'll put them on the bike in a minute just to see what it's about so um, one last bit in the bog bag so there's a spanner well and a uh, and a multi-tool well really useful actually mm, happy days happy days on that so uh, yeah and 14 and a 15 mil and uh, of course the pedals 15 mil so Yeah, really quite uh, quite noisy and uh, very very cheap feeling pedal but for 400 and 449 pound because they're on a discount um, at uk, it's not a bad price and it's uh, the way I'm looking at it is I'm going to be modifying this so it's pretty much going to be the, the brakes are, are bang on you know decent quality mx brakes um you know really die comp uh, mx brakes really happy with those wheel wise yeah i'm happy with those are two tire wise i might i'm gonna try and see if i can find a a narrow snake belly in red for the back um i'm not holding out much hope because the last time i was in the, I was in the zine, scene the snake belly tires were pretty pretty low on the ground so um but yeah uh yeah we're in a good good place so we're gonna uh fit the pedals take the reflectors off and they uh we'll see how it looks like without the uh the other bits in there i'll see you in a minute right let's go ahead and uh fit the pedals that's quite easy. The bearings are that bad, it's helping me thread the pedals on. <laughs> right, 15 mil. Right, I'm going to hold that on that one. So, yeah, let's go and uh, fit the other side. Left hand thread, remember. So let's see if you can see that. Yeah, basically Make sure it's in shot. Just got a little, uh, an L rotating L sticker here. I'm just going to take that off. Thankfully, it's a plastic one, unlike the pedals where they're paper ones. I tried taking the other one off, and it just turned into a bit of a, a mess. So I'll try to get this one off as well. Yeah, no, that came off a lot better, actually. So, okay then. So, opening to close. I'll our left hand thread. Let's get this all the way down. So, of course, it's the uh, the right lever. Test the front brakes. There's a little bit of wibbly wobbly. Slight sprinkle there, I'm gonna alter those with a tweak or two on the on the spokes. So let's have a look, see what the other one's like. Yeah that one's better. It's not weird stopping the rear wheel with the with the right hand. So right. Pretty good, actually. That is looking pretty good. So uh, let's uh, let's go about removing this 
ugly. <laughs> Jane God. And of course, you shouldn't really, I shouldn't really be moving it on safety grounds, but uh, being uh, 40 something, it's, uh, it's just, it's, this thing is, is definitely not, not staying. <laughs> We didn't have it back in the day and health and safety hadn't gone absolutely haywire. Not that I'm saying health and safety is a bad thing. I'm not condoning doing this kind of thing. And if you're going to do it, do it at, uh, at your own risk. I have not uh, told you to, to take any safety tips off these bikes. It's purely my, uh, my idea for my bike and for nobody else's. I have no, no um, intention of riding this in the dark. It's going to be on a sunny spring afternoon, popping from one place to the next with quite possibly um, a shandy or two. In fact, it wouldn't be cool if you could uh, Grab a glass of top deck shandy, remember that? Top deck shandy, well, let's go back a while. So, uh, so yeah. The 449 quid. I've got to be honest and say that I'm, I'm really happy with, with what my money's bought. It's, uh, it's really good and it's a good place to start. So if you wanted to do, do a custom um, with uh, uh, a real proper 80s period spec then you'd be looking at, at big money I mean you could I'm guessing that you could do one of these for, for half the price almost of an original obviously the original is best but I've already got an expensive hobby and that's 205 and road bikes and running so uh, for me, this will be perfect for the price bracket. It's, it'll be absolutely perfect. So yeah, so there we go. There's the unboxing of the Mongoose California Special. It's a 2022 reissue or a repop. And uh, yeah, so if you uh, if if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing because I'm going to be putting in quite a few, uh, quite a lot of content there this year with this, with the modifications, uh, customizing uh, bits and bobs, the ride outs, and uh, a whole host of, of other things going on with the bike. So, um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing video. I couldn't see one that's been made in the UK, so I'm thinking this will this will be the first. Um, and hopefully it will help you make a decision as to whether you want to buy one of these or not. Uh, for the money, I would say definitely go for it. Unless, of course, you're going for the, the Rally um, Tough Burner. That's gonna that's currently been also been reissued. I believe they're coming out pretty soon on a on a, a main release that the pre-release um, or the limited number release bikes have, have now been and gone. And are up for sale for um, silly money. In fact, same money as original, really good, clean, tidy original uh, rally burners. But anyway, that's a whole different subject. So for the money, go for it. Good place for a canvas. So, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a thumb up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. See you soon.